Ayurveda, uh, which dates back uh, at least six to seven thousand years, uh, mo the oral records are ten thousand years old. Uh, the first written records date back six thousand years, and they describe uh, what is known as bastis. A basti is basically an anima that can either uh, include oils or uh, water or, and herbs. And so they knew how to do bastis, uh, yeah, again, uh, using uh, nature's uh, things like yeah, uh, bladders from uh, a goat or a cow. Uh, I don't think in India they used cow uh, bladders, um, <laughs> but from other animals. And uh, to use that as a container or or other um, you know, vegetables that were hollowed and then water was poured in them and then they had uh, yes, a natural straw, a thick straw that was hollow inside that, you, that worked as a tubing and so they administered uh, these basties uh, to clean the colon uh, going back to Jesus this time uh, being, having been an Essene uh, the Essenes uh, you know, described uh, yeah, exactly the same methods uh, and the ancient Egyptians uh, it, once again uh, colon cleansing has been part uh, and a necessity for all uh, major civilizations and when you go back to the the 1920s I remember uh, you know, looking at the reports uh, from, ho from hospitals they routinely administered uh, animas uh, or so-called colima, colimas uh, colon hydrotherapy uh, to wash out the entire colon uh, almost every hospital used to have a colon uh, colonic machine uh, and then when antibiotics came in uh, yeah, they didn't bother anymore helping people to clean out their guts uh, they just pumped them full with drugs and, and then suppressed uh, you know, a disease rather than cure it up from the base up uh, instead of dealing with the root causes, they just uh, try to suppress some symptoms, and you know where, where that uh, got us. Uh, today, you know, so many people are obese uh, that are, their colons are so extremely congested, filled with uh, sometimes 20, 30 kilograms of old fecal matter, and uh, in America, near, nearly 70% uh, near of the people are either obese or overweight, and you can see where it starts in the belly area. So the, the colon backs up uh, you know, waste matter, accumulates, accommodates it, and uh, people are not even thinking about it. Doctors don't tell them uh, like they did in the 20s, oh, we first must clean out your colon before we treat anything else. There are some hospitals in, in, uh, in Israel that don't even uh, treat, uh, you know, they don't even accept a patient unless they can show that they just had a colonic irrigation where they cleaned out their entire colon because they say that so many symptoms of illness are related to just blocked colons extreme constipation and uh, just sluggishness in the uh, eliminative capacity of the body so cleaning out the body uh, is, is uh, still it's coming back uh, and it's becoming more and more popular as these colonic machines become available again and uh, simple you know, colon cleansing devices uh, once again become popular I've described them in my books and uh, they are widely read and so more and more people are you know, going back to a traditional colon cleansing method How often do you recommend doing a colon cleanse for the average person? It depends on uh, what the person is eating uh, how stressed the person is. We now know that stress inhibits uh, the peristalsis in the body. So a person becomes uh, you know, congested you know, simply by, by being nervous and anxious, uh, worried about things. Uh, then it depends on the diet. Uh, if a person eats a lot of meat, uh, you know, fish, chicken, eggs, cheese, and so on, uh, then he can expect uh, that the colon clogs up you know, much faster but on average, uh, if it's a healthy, balanced diet, um, once a month, uh, two or three weeks, one has to go by one's feeling. If the belly is starting to protrude uh, and becoming you know, harder, uh, and the gas is uh, you know, you know, common, then uh, definitely it's time for cleaning cleaning out the colon. Uh, obviously, one should also consider cleaning out the liver because. 
many of the colon problems result from poor bile secretion where the bile is no longer sufficient in order to induce peristalsis uh, which is uh, yeah, again a function of bile uh, if the bile is missing or there is a, a lack of it then uh, the peristalsis is inadequate and a lot of uh, un undigested food remains in the colon and doesn't come out.